Hello everybody. Some of the future projects that I have listed, I'm going to need a compass. So let's build one. All right, so what I have here is I have a piece of a 3 8 inch solid rod and I want this compass, my initial plan was just to put a point at one end and then put a 3 quarter inch uh, DOM tubing on one end, on the other end that would be adjustable so I could put my, mar my Sharpie in there and just slide it back and forth and then I could create my arcs that way. But <laughs> I have found that when it comes to using something like this, it's probably a good idea to make it so that way your point, your sharpie will move and your point can move also. Because I have found that, well, chances are the way things go here in my shop, I'll have a structure sitting right here and I'll need to create an arc, but the bar will be too long and I'll collide with something so I want to make it so that way both points can move and I'll have screws set in them to adjust it. Now the locking screws that I plan on using are quarter by 20 thread. What I have here is a quarter by 20 tap. Since I don't have an actual tapping set, I gotta use this small vice grip. To make my threads. Alright, well we got those done. These are the half inch with 3 eighths inner diameter. Half inch outer diameter, 3 eighths inner diameter. I probably could have, you know, if I was gonna if I had the material, I would have made this like maybe a little thicker walled, but since this is DOM, the steel itself is stronger anyway. So, uh, so one of these is going to go right over here. I'm going to have to put a pin on it, tighten it so it stays solid. The other one is going to go up over here. And then this, which will hold a marker I'm gonna tack weld that right there well oh, maybe I'll ro maybe I should rotate this thing the other way yeah tack weld them like that <laughs> that's probably a better idea so let me go do that quick Alright, so I got those pieces cooling now, and I'm going to clean up this rod. Because in the process of welding, some of that splatter got all over the steel. And we don't want that. Yeah, I've wanted to make one of these for such a long time. There were certain projects that I wanted to do where I involved in arc, arced steel, or arced uh, sheet metal around to it, and I just didn't have a compass, anything that was decent. So, yeah. You know, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, gear oil. here and rub it around the steel because I don't want this thing to be complete to rust all up on me okay well let's put it together See how well it works. This way. So if I wanted to make an arc, that was going to be. Yeah, 
maybe I might want to put some tack on some tabs or some washers onto here to really tighten it up but let's try it out let's say if I wanted to make an arc that was uh, 23 inches Exactly. Yeah. Sweet. This should be able to go up to two feet. So if I wanted to make a a, a gong out of uh, some sheet metal, I could at least make it at least four feet wide in diameter. But I do think I might uh, tack on some washers onto the ends here so I can get a better grip instead of leaving it as is all right well screw it I guess we'll just have to uh, cut some I've got a little bucket of water off camera here I found that when I cool my parts down right away I can really just start working with them because I just get all sick of waiting So let's uh, make an arc, a 14 inch round arc. Yeah, 14. Ooh. Yeah. Sweet. Well, guys, that's it. Simple idea. Works like a charm. So now, I'm going to start planning my other projects. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. So give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If it gave you some ideas, great. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.